Let's start off by first calculating the equation of the first segment. Using the formula y equals mx plus b, we can see that the b value is 0 since the graph line goes through 0, 0. The slope is 12 over 30, which is 2 over 5. So we can write velocity as a function of time like this. The second segment is simply v equals 12. To find the position time graph, we need to integrate each segment. For the first segment, we have the following integration, starting with a time of 0 to a time of t. Now we can write the position as following. From this equation, we can find the value of s at a time of 30 seconds. Substituting 30 into our equation gives us the following. Now we can look at the other segment. We will integrate from a time of 30 to a time of t. Since we figured out the position value at 30 seconds, we will use this initial value in our equation. The integral is the following. Adding our initial condition gives us the following equation. Now we can plot the position time graph. To do the next segment, which is to find the acceleration time graph, we simply take the derivative of each segment. For the first segment, the derivative yields the following equation. The last segment simply becomes zero. Plotting the graph gives us the following. We hope this helped you, and if it did, please give us a like.